things I would never be able to reach with a regular saw without using a ladder. Never use a ladder with a saw, all right, unless you're a professional. You don't have to when you have the pole saw. If you've got debris, branches, hanging over your car, uh, in front of your picture window, if you need to cut up firewood, Whatever it is you need to trim, heavy branches, you can utilize the two-in-one pole saw. It's electric. You never have to put a drop of gas in here. There is a chamber that uh, you put the oil in. We give you the oil. It's right there. And all that oil does is it goes right in the top here. You open this little valve, just like that. Put the oil in. You can see I've got oil in there. Put the lid back on, tighten it. And you'll see there's a little window that tells me there's oil. That just lubricates the chain so that it goes freely inside. You can articulate the head in any direction that you want, up or down, so if you're on an angle, no worries there. And remember, I disconnect here to turn it into a regular power handsaw. The handle telescopes so that if I need to reach something very high, and it's a plug-in, all I do is I extend the pole as long as I need to extend it, and then I come over, I got some branches up here, how easy was that? All right, let me do this one up here. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. But remember, I can also turn it into a handsaw. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Here's what I'll tell you. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, and I don't care if you're a guy or a gal, get this. It is easy to use. It is not intimidating like a regular gas-powered chainsaw. I've used those, all right? They're heavy, cumbersome, pull start, gas, mix, oil, Nightmare and the chains come off all the time. You never have to worry about any of that with this pole saw Grab your extension cord plug it in and go to town. You will love it My very good friend my best buddy Peter Kilcullen who I've not seen in about a million years is here Pete Welcome to the show Hey guy, how's it going? Good buddy. Hey, great job with the saw. Hey, I, I love that this one is the two-in-one and you were showing it as the pole saw I've got it in that handheld the regular handheld chainsaw configuration so you can see how it works there. Because the nice thing is you don't have to choose. If you're big on getting the firewood ready for next winter, you're gonna be set to go. If you wanna clear all those dead limbs and all those branches that are really closing in the front of your house, you're set with that as well with the pole. So let's see how it works and then we can go through some more of those details. Again, super easy to use. Just like you said, not intimidating. You just let the saw do the work. Lay that right down on the limb. And look how nice and easy it's going through. The cool thing is you don't have to hold on to that for dear life. You don't have to worry about an excessive amount of kickback or even excessive vibration. It really makes it easy. And what's making it easy for is everybody at home. Guy, you mentioned it, that maybe this isn't for the professionals. They've got their gas-powered chainsaws and their pole saws. But for everyone at home, the jobs that you want to do, this one's perfect. I'm going to go one more so we can, we can see how well this works. Start that up, place it right down on the limb and watch as it goes through. And here's something I think is really great. If you are doing the firewood, so I'll show you that, that limb that I'm doing here, maybe that's over three inches in diameter, something like that. We have a 10 inch bar and chain, which means we can handle limbs, you know, twice that, even nine or almost 10 inches in diameter. And this is an Oregon bar and chain. It's industry standard, but the 10 inch is great. You talked about this, the automatic oiling system. It's going to lubricate that bar and chain automatically. You just have to make sure you keep that in there. And Guy, I know you talked about that you were going to go from the chainsaw or the pole saw to the chainsaw. Let me show everyone that because it wouldn't be that special if it was super impossible to do and took a lot of tools and a lot of time to go back and forth. Well, check this out. We can do this probably in about 10 seconds or so, but I'll go a little bit slower. So I'm gonna take the pole and I've got the, the, the side that's plugged in and basically you snap it together, tap that closed on one side, that's where it's plugged in. And then I'm gonna go to the other end and it's the same thing. I push it, to, push it together, snap that lock in place. I have the, there you go, lock that in place and now I'm ready to go. And now I have the ability to loosen that collar, extend it up or down, I'll just go a little bit right there. And now you are ready to go to handle those branches high up um, near the cars or if it's getting yeah. close to the windows in the front of the house. You can do it. And this one's two in one and has the ability to articulate the angle when using this as a pole saw. So this has it all. Guy, I agree just like you that anyone who wants to do those jobs at home can handle this saw and it will yeah. not be intimidating. Peter, do you remember when we first brought this out? 
seven or eight years ago, and Peter and I are old enough to have been around that long ago, these pole <laughs> saws were like 129 bucks. You remember? Oh yeah. They were very expensive. We've been able to keep the prices low, even though, and even go lower, even though everything else is going up. That price is probably the lowest price I've ever seen for a pole saw chainsaw com combo. This is the one that I own. I, you know, I thought about getting just a handsaw, but I was like, half the stuff I need to cut is way over my head. And I will never get on a ladder. Even though I'm pretty fit, I would never get on a ladder with a chainsaw. It's not a good idea. You don't have to do that with this one. Again, Peter just showed you how to switch it over. So here it is at a pole, as a pole saw. You unlock it, unhinge it. There's the handle. Come over here, do the same over here. Unlock it, unhinge it. I take these two, I put these together like that, lock it in, ready to go. There it is. That's how quickly you can go from a pole saw to a handsaw. I'm gonna show you, I've got uh, some wood over here that I'm gonna cut up for you. Show you how easy it is. Always wear your glasses or protective eyewear. But remember, all you gotta do is let the weight of the saw do the work. That's why we say it's not hard, whether you're a guy or a gal, anybody can handle this versus a big, giant, heavy 40 pound chainsaw. And all you do is you let the chainsaw do the work. I like to get it going before I get on there and then just let the weight do it. Look at how clean that is. It is, I'll turn it so you can sort of see how clean that is. Look at that. You see that cut? Perfectly clean cut, I'll do another one. Not super noisy. That is it. And what you know what I just did? I just made coasters. Look, I just made a coaster. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta, yeah, I just made a coaster for your table. There you go. You can use this. You know, Peter, I always address our customers. A lot of our customers are uh, seniors and they're like, I can't handle this. No, a regular chainsaw you probably couldn't handle. Those are really hard for anybody. But this, Peter, anybody can use. Yeah, I, I think everyone who, if you get it home and you try it and it just watch you use it, I think you're gonna be really surprised. Like, wait a minute, that really is easy. It's really not intimidating. And one of the things I think is nice about that, this is the combination where I showed you this as the handheld chainsaw and now I've got it the pole saw. Maybe the first time you're using it, you're gonna get it home and I have it fully extended right here. So what I'll do is I'll lay it on the end of this limb. And here's the nice part, when you first use it, look how far back I am from the actual chainsaw. So this is a great way to try it. Just fire it up and just as you said, you're letting the weight of that saw. Look at that, how it's just nice and easy working its way through. You don't have to do anything, but you can also see a little sawdust in the eye. You can see that I'm this far back, so there's nothing to be intimidated about. And guy, you know what? Let's go through some of these safety features as we're talking about that anybody can use this. One of the things I want you to show you is that up here, we have this chain break on here. So it's a knuckle guard when you're using it as the handheld. But watch this, if I snap that out, that chain break now has completely stopped the saw that it will not work. So I'll go back here, I'll hit the safety switch back here and the trigger, nothing happens because I've engaged that chain break. So again, it's a great feature. So you have to activate the safety switch plus the trigger, but if you really wanna make sure that this is disengaged, you can use that chain break, just snap that back into place and it's ready to go again. So safety features, ease of use, this is definitely the pole saw chainsaw combo that you can handle at home. All right, if you wanna get it, the price has dropped to $69.99. Think about Mother's Day, think about Father's Day, right? Great idea for them because it's a real power tool. I bought one of these, Peter, I told you. I, uh, I went up, after I used it, I called my brother, this is years ago, this is like seven or eight years ago when I bought the first one, and I called my brother Darren, and he has a house in uh, Connecticut, but he has a 